scene one, apple take two. As Above, So Below is about six characters going down and facing their own personal demons deep under the streets of Paris. Just keep moving. We had a problem with uh, a cemetery, the cemetery of the Saints Innocents. This cemetery was too full, so we decided in uh, December 1785, we decided to empty it and to put the bone somewhere. We estimate that uh, in the catacombs in the Ossory, there are something like the bones of uh, six million dead people, so it's three times the population of Paris of today. They just opened up manhole covers and dumped bones all over the place. Yeah, as you go, you just come across like these piles of bones pouring out of tunnels and, and skulls and femurs, and it's really a, a kind of a surreal nightmare scape. The, the corridors uh, are the deepest corridors below Paris. Down here you see all kinds of markings, sort of everywhere you go. So a lot of the streets don't correspond to a current French map, but if you get a, an old uh, map of Paris, uh, you can sort of find your way around the catacombs using that. You're, you're now experiencing what we went through in production. Uh, <laughs> It was, uh, it was really very difficult to shoot down here. And so as we'd be running through the corridors, like at full speed sometimes, we'd just have to put a forearm up like this. We'd be watching a monitor running through these spaces and you know, you just take the hits in your arm instead of your face. The dowdles bring an energy to a set that's, that's, you know, that's hugely important in any movie, but especially in a movie where you're running around screaming for your life um, in caves. I'm Padre Weeks and I play Scarlett Marlowe. They were so energized and really excited to be working on this project and they just really seemed to enjoy every little moment and they were really appreciative of, of everything that we gave. Um, and it made you want to give and give more and, and they kind of got a really, I think they got, they got the best out of us. We staged the bone tunnel scene right here where all our characters have to climb over the bones and Benji gets stuck and the ceiling caves in. And piled bones basically up to about there and they had to climb up and crawl through and we added a wall just to the left here so it felt very tight, it felt like a very narrow corridor. Shooting in the catacombs was, was really exciting for, I think, for all of us. It was a completely different world from anything we've ever been in before. It was cold, it was dark, it was far away from anything, it was creepy and for all those reasons, weirdly, it was awesome. Like really fun. Yeah. <laughs> it's scary, it's scary crawling under, you know, slabs of real stone and it's like you climb in here and you know you know you know it's wrong <laughs> like you know you shouldn't be in there like like you just shouldn't be messing with this and psychologically i have to say after you know more than you know 20 days you know people start to lose it a little bit because the air is strange down here and the, the the quality of sound is very strange down here and it really starts to to wear on you Hey, what's happening movie fans? I've got an interesting movie fact for all you Fast and Furious fans out there. Even if you're not, you can still stay tuned. Now, did you know that Michelle Rodriguez, who plays Letty, did not have a driver's license before she began filming for the first movie of the series? Hmm, interesting. So I wonder which one of the team taught her to drive. Who would be your choice of driving instructor? Let us know in the comments below. That's all for today. I'm Valerie and remember, don't bark if you can't bite. See ya.